light is so horrible. Good afternoon, you guys. Let's see. I don't want to put you guys in. Sayla and myself, we're going to be making some cookies today. I'm going to be making chocolate chip cookies and Zayla is going to be making oatmeal raisin cookies. And I bought two different types of morsels. So this one right here is the Espresso Town the Nestle Toll House. I'm sorry, my head itch. <laughs> All right, and the Hershey's Kitchen Milk Chocolate Chips. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to look on the back of the Hershey's packet to see. And these words are like so small and my eyes are like hurting. So they were looking hers up on the phone because on back of the oatmeal box, they don't have how to, they don't have how to make oatmeal um, raisin cookies. So, baking soda? Yes. Yeah. No, so no, on the back honey, of the Hershey. Honey baking soda. Oh shoot. Is it is baking, baking soda or baking powder? It says baking soda. It says baking soda helps cookies rise. I thought it was baking powder. So did I. Double acting. Aluminum free. I'm so confused. Ew, molasses. See, no, these people don't know what they're talking about. I'm yeah, maybe we can do another one. one. Molasses. Molasses is disgusting. Wait, let me see what this says. These words are so freaking small. Like Alright. We had to make a store run because we needed some bacon soda for the cookies. So we had to make another store run. So, yeah. We were gone for a bit, you guys. And now we're back. Anyway, let's get into these cookies, you guys. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to be making chocolate chip cookies. Zilla's going to be making... Oatmeal raisin. Oh, all right. So, let's see what I have to Where's do the butter? first. Oh, shoot. So, go get the butter. Which one? I hope you got two pounds of Oh, it needs to be softened. It does. I don't know if that means, though. All right, and this is the butter that we have and we're using. This is... Amish country roll butter. So I never seen this butter before. So I wanted to try it and see what it was. Is the butter the first thing we gotta put in? Well, that's the first thing I was. Come on, too, but so you could just put the eggs and stuff. Try yeah. to take out a big chunk of it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in this measuring cup because I need one cup of butter. But what I'm going to have to do is melt the butter. So, and that's a lot of butter. I need three fourths. Yeah, this is, the, I'm glad I got this big chunk of butter because, listen. Look all this darn butter. And plus, once it melts down, I got to see if it's going to. Yeah, that should be a cup. Well, I can't. So we have the butter all melted. Zayla already has the butter inside of her bowl. So, and see it is, it's getting creamy now. All right. So we have some ShopRite sugar. You put it over the bowl in case it falls out. Mm. All right, so, yeah. No, you can do it yourself. As they was doing that, let me see how many cups of, it says to beat the butter, granulated sugar, brown sugar, vanilla, and large bowl with mixer until creamy. So we got to use a mixer. So mother, what, <laughs> she told you she was going to use one of these one? No. She knows what I'm talking about. What is she talking about? I don't know. Why can't I know? Cause you don't need to know. And the world don't need to know. But I need to make some know. Oh. 
Oh no, my phone wants to FaceTime, but I'm sorry I'm sure. Is that three floors? Is that the back? It's a bit too much, but um, yeah. My lovely mother smells disgusting. Not yet. My where's the eggs? Oh, I'm not going back in there. She literally just started and it's disgusting. Like I thought I was dying. Okay. I'm gonna say how you open eggs. Egg. Oh, that's a mess. Whatever. What are you doing? <gasps> Zayla. Yep. Are we going to taste to each other's cookies at the end? Yeah, we're going to taste it. All right, so you put your shit. Zayla, hold on. Come on. I've been going. They've been seeing what I've been doing. I got my sugar. My All right, eggs. so I'm gonna put the sugar. Oh, how much sugar do I need? I don't even remember what sugar. How much sugar do I need? Ooh, a teaspoon. This thing is so small, like my eyeballs are burning. Um. All right, so it says three fourth cup of sugar. So I, I put a little either. more of sugar than was necessary. required, but that's okay. All right, so I have my one cup of sugar and. Packed light brown sugar. All right. Oh. What element did you pick? How much brown mm. sugar? Hey. Uh, All right. So I need three fourth cup of brown nitrogen. sugar. So let's see. Let's see. Nitrogen. Let's see. I think I'm gonna put just the amount that I need for this sugar because I don't want my cookies to be too sweet. Okay, and then I need some vanilla. I need one teaspoon. Oh, you already put your vanilla in. Mm -hmm. All right, so I need one teaspoon of vanilla. One and one fourth. Ew. I'm not sure how this is going to All right, I'm just right. going to put a little bit more vanilla. There we go. <laughs> Zay love. I think that's one fourth. Somebody you well, we can't even see because the cup is so cloudy now. Wash it up. All right, so I have to mix my stuff first. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing. So you guys, well, we almost like me on mute. That's it. Should I do it more? I mean, I need to put all my ingredients in. Nah, okay. So my sugar and my butter is all mixed up. Um, I, I should have got butter. another spoon, but let me just—it's okay. So it's supposed to be creamy, but let's see. Let's see. I think that's creamy enough. One, I think that's creamy enough, see. guys. All right, so. Um, oh, mom, you open this, please. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so I gotta add my eggs. Save <laughs> me my eggs. And you're not so bad at that. You're not so bad at that. Uh, I guess you probably would have did a better job with this than me, cause. Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, that got in my mouth. So I'm gonna add. I believe it's two eggs. So let's see. Come on, now. yeah, two eggs. Don't cheap out on me. Ooh, that came out. All right, you guys, we're over here making. All right, if you ever want to make cookies from scratch, cookies. Zayla and I, and this is not coming up. Right, that's my only advice. All I got. Now I gotta put in two. I gotta put in the oats, the good part. So we over here, me and Zayla, we're over here making cookies. 
so you don't need Sorry, any milk. Sorry, YouTube, but we got I'm milk gonna for no to reason. live for just a second so I can catch them up on yeah. what is going on. Ain't nobody watching. But it doesn't matter. They're going to watch later. So we're over here making cookies. I've already added my sugar and I'm my butter for this and I'm just to one make egg. And I'm going to go ahead and make do uh, another egg. So, so two and three cups. Mm -hmm. Oh crap, my that's more than one. Alright, so I have the oh, eggs. No, Alright, so we'll have to mix the... Dang, how many people are making this stuff? The egg. I didn't even look up how many people I was making. Alright, so I just have to beat the egg. This is for 48 servings. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> oh wow. Ah, that's crazy. Oops, whatever. I got 48 friends in my head and then one cup of raisins Zayla is over here acting like she's running a marathon like <laughs> goodness <laughs> gracious look ma slow and steady don't always run the race really yes I'm not running I'm not winning <laughs> doing no race I didn't even know that I was racing hello we just trying to see who's going to have the best cookies. <laughs> and we already know who's going to have the best cookies. Well, so I just have to beat this stuff into this batter. And it's looking really good, you guys. Like, yeah. I'm loving this. The look of this. Let me let you guys see. I feel like I should put in another egg or a bit of milk. Just a bit of milk. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. <laughs> Mommy, it's making a mess. Oh, my God. All right, you guys, hold on because um, Zilla <laughs> is gonna be mixing again. All yeah, right, go ahead. Is that all they said to do? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Should I put some more sugar or eggs or something? Wiz, you didn't put no milk. They it didn't say, say milk, milk at all? Uh-uh. How? That's I'm looking at a different right. recipe. No, you got to stick with the recipe you already on because you're already committed to that recipe so far. So what? But you have to remember it's oatmeal cookies, so they supposed to be kind of, you know. Hold on. Oh, okay. All right, let me see what I have to do next. Cause they look over here, her stuff looking like she done made oatmeal. <laughs> no, it don't say no milk. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my flour. Mama, smell it. It don't smell good. It smells fine. You gotta kind of like let the flour settle so you can know like exactly Brian, you want to see my cookies? so i'm gonna go ahead and pour my flour into the mixture i have flour on my phone so i'm gonna go ahead and pour do one cup at a time and then i'm gonna mix it into my oatmeal raisin little mixture thing. Okay. so you know you and it's good to like add the no response. your ingredients slowly and oh, just wow. mix it all the way in to each other you think it's Trust gonna me. taste bad it makes your bacon so much Your easier mind. and it makes everything taste so much more delicious. Yours looks so soft. Yours is not supposed to be soft. Yours is oatmeal cookies so it's supposed to be a little rough. So and it takes a lot to mix this stuff. And you have to have a really strong arm. I think you have to have like a baker's arm for these um yeah, for um, this stuff. Ma, I think it's because we use sea salt. I don't think sea salt is supposed to you be put, up in here. You can put sea salt in there. My sea salt come from the sea. It doesn't really matter. They have sea salt cookies. I mean, but this, I wanted this to be regular cookies. All right, so I put one thing of flour, and that's how the consistency is. So I gotta put another cup. <laughs> Ma, look, look, look. Hold on. Why are you looking? All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they see yours. What you yeah, but mine's 
Mine's mine. Mine's is, um, what you call cookies? Yours is I oatmeal. I hate chocolate chip. So, Zayla hates chocolate chip. Hate I don't know chocolate when that chip. happened, but. I've never liked chocolate chip cookies. Well, Maybe well. when I was, like, with my grandmother, when we used to make them together, I liked those. But it was, like, the, the already made ones, and we just put them in the oven. Mm. I don't know if she All right, let me bake. use my right hand, because my left hand is tired of me overusing it. So, literally, you use it for everything. Yeah. You well, said, so you. You give me a break. So. Need tell me one more. Well, tell me what? I couldn't read the rest. It was um, Blue Jay just texted me about something. If she had came into my live, she would see. She's still talking to that me. That I'm here. Um, yeah, but when doesn't it, when you put it up, it, Mom, but people can watch it later. They're not watching it now. They're not watching it later. <laughs> Oh well, I'm used to talking to myself, so this doesn't bother me that no one, you know, watches my videos. I'm not, you know. All right, this thing is starting to look so great, you guys. I'm like, to use the mixer. No, because you're not supposed to use a mix because it's not supposed to be. That's the thing. You have to know what you have to do when you have to do it. You don't need a mixer for this because it's not supposed to be creamy. It's cookies, not cake. That's the difference. You gonna tell me that after I mix it? Yeah, well, I guess you could be. Well, you, well, you know what? All right, so let me show you guys what the consistency with two cups of flour. So as you see, it's a much thicker consistency. And truthfully, I would really stop right here, but I am gonna go ahead and add the other uh, one fourth cup of flour this smells which is a little teeny tiny bit so it doesn't matter i hate before right, they're so cold. boom yes, see <laughs> just a little teeny tiny bit oh my all right God. so i put my last you're one the one that told cup me to stop of, and now um, you doing it a okay, flour man. and so i'm gonna go ahead and mix that in really well oh my I remember i told you that time the girl in sixth grade when she made the cupcakes right mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then i took one and then i looked down and this chick hair is all in the cupcake i like, know you say you always tell me this and story. then <laughs> because it's so nasty she got traumatized by that oh my god and then deal. i told everybody else they looked down they had hair in their cupcakes and i'm just like but this is the thing i about just saved it. everyone like, why from hair people, and cupcakes no she didn't save everybody she went and minded her business. They could enjoy those cupcakes here in all. <laughs> what? Trust me, you know how much here Mommy, when you eat in a restaurant. Can you, stop. Can you cook your weight? I'm not talking over your cup, your cookies. Can you not talk over my cookies? <laughs> Goodness. What is my voice going to do? But, um, no, your breath and your, <laughs> your spray. My breath right. smells amazing. You guys, I'm going to be very honest. Like, I'm very particular when it comes to, like, cooking. Especially when I'm cooking for someone else. I'm, like, like I have OCD when it comes to that. Because when I was younger, I had a very traumatic situation. But anyway, I don't know if I told you guys this before. But my mother had a best friend. And um, she had a best friend, right? And I was about maybe seven years old. And so we were in the kitchen and she was making a cake. And so, you know, some of us, the kids, we were like around her. Because, you know, when people making a cake, you you want the bowl, you want the spoon. So you waiting in line <laughs> to make sure you get the opportunity to do that. And so as we're standing there and she's making the cake, her son is standing on one side of her. I'm sitting on another side of her. And the son did the biggest I choose <laughs> I have ever seen in my life to this day. My father, he was very particular about his kids eating, you know, from people. You know, he said, when you go somewhere, you make sure you say, no, thank you. So, as I'm sitting there and I'm seeing the, the, the I chew, like, residue. Like the Bernie Mac episode. It was like, it was like, <laughs> it was like in slow motion. <laughs> Each of the spit just go down into the, the cake mix. And so, I look up at the mother. And I'm saying to myself, okay, so she's going to have to throw that away. <laughs> Lord have mercy. She just kept mixing like nothing happened. And I'm sitting there looking. And I'm looking down at her. I'm looking at the cake. I'm looking down. 
And I said, oh my God, she's really going to make this cake. She made that cake. And let me tell you, I wanted to go hug and kiss my father. Because that was when she said, no thank you, ma'am. Like everybody else was tearing that cake up. And you ain't telling me. No. It's all right, so you guys, so let me show you all the consistency now. So it's barely falling off the spoon. I have to shake it in order for it to fall off the spoon. And so when you see it like that, then that means that you're good. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is I need one teaspoon of baking soda. Baking soda. I got baking soda. Um, can we not sing that song? <laughs> All right, so what I got my mean? baking soda. I'm going to spread it over evenly. Well, you don't really have to do that. But that's just like, I would like to do things like that. Hello. Okay. All right, so you got to make sure you mix that in very well. Because you will want to maybe not mix it in well, but you have to mix it in well. Because you want to make sure your baking soda is spread evenly throughout all of your batter. Because it's definitely going to make a difference. That's the reason why you put it in there. It's for the cookies can, you know, expand. Not too much, but just enough. Because remember, you're not making a cake. You're making cookies. <clears throat> and so, yeah. Brian, why did he leave? That's why we had to go back to the store for the baking soda. And so why did he leave? So you just want to keep twirling it and twirling it. It's, it's, a ex it's, it's a workout. It's definitely a workout. I'm going to tell you that right now. He left. Alright. So I so. Oh. I think that's mm. good enough. I'm hurt. I'm tired. I'm kind of hungry. Mine was for dinner. The soup, babe. Alright. So now I need some salt. And it's going to be a half teaspoon of salt. Alright. Oh, wow. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Alright, so that have a half a teaspoon of salt. I mean, that's kind of small. But, so I'm going to put a little bit more. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't really go by the rules. And this is the salt of the sea. I don't care. I like to make my own rules when it comes to certain ingredients because... You know, you have to remember that different coaches, we make stuff differently. And so, what's good for one may not be but good for the other. The directions. Yeah, I'm following the directions, but when you make stuff for yourself, you can critique it to your own liking. You know, and that's why my cookies used to be so good, because even though I had someone else's recipe, I used to still, you know, make it my way. Especially once I made it once, and then I tasted them, and I seen... Like, um, you know, basically how it tasted. Then I've seen like, okay, I want more of this or I want more of that or I want less of this. Because sometimes like video. when you, um, like when you're making a cake, like sometimes they tell you to this make, they tell you to have three, um, eggs and I hate the smell and taste of eggs in a cake. And so I only do two. And I love it that way. So, when you're following a recipe, follow it to your own liking. You know what you like, you know what you don't like. And it's okay, because listen, they made this recipe to how they like it. Okay, so now we're going to put in the chocolate chips. And again, this is to your own liking, to your own taste. So, I love chocolate chips. So, I'm going to put a little bit of the chocolate chip ones. And then I'm going to put a little bit of the espresso ones as well. Now, should I just put a bit of milk in mine? Um, nah, don't put in mine. Alright, so let me show you guys how much chocolate chips. And I'm going to mix it around and I'm going to see if that's going to be enough or if I'm going to get... Yeah, the bowl is basically finished. So, I was going to throw these bowls away anyway. I'm just going to put a few more. Because I'm just putting it, like I said, to my liking. And then I'm going to put a few more of these. So. Alright. I think that's it. If you know, you don't want to overdo it. 
you know you don't want to overdo it because you can overdo it trust me mm. yeah and i may have overdone it i may have overdone it just a little bit babe all right so this is what we're working with and yeah that looks about right all right, so, so for some reason, these chips are not really go incorporating into my mix well. But I guess once I, you know, like, mash them all together. It's right in that cabinet right there. Once I squash them all together, then, you know, it should be just fine. It should be just fine. And this is a really fun thing, like... For you moms out there and dads out there, parents, grandparents, guardians, whoever, you know, this is something cool and fun to do with, you know, your little one. And I would definitely recommend it. And even though Zayla, you know, is, you got to wash that off, babes. And even though Zayla is older, we didn't, know what they did. I wash it off. Uh, yeah. But even though she's older, I didn't really get to do well, no, we did we did some of this when she they were younger. We didn't? No. Never make no. cookies together? No. So I don't know. She said we never made cookies together. That's sad. But I guess it's better late than never. I can imagine that I didn't make cookies with them. I really think that I did and she just don't remember. So yeah, but I know she made cookies with her grandmother. And, um, I know we made cookies together. We made something together. Whether it was cookies, cakes, cupcakes, something. We did it. Alright, so we cleaned up the area a little bit. And we're just going to use these little cookie, um, pans right here. And we have some parchment paper. And I'm just going to line the pans with the parchment paper so I'm gonna go ahead and use this ice cream scooper just to scoop out the mixture and so mm -hmm. so that's Zayla's and they look pretty good all right, so we got to wait for the oven to heat up. So we'll show you guys how our first batch come out um, when they're done. All right, you guys. So we have finished um, with the bacon of the cookies. Okay, so this here is my first batch of cookies, which they almost fell to the floor. So they didn't come out um, the way I wanted to because they didn't have time to cool down, of course. So they broke apart. Then my second batch, as you can see, it came out really, really good. And my third batch is right here, which they didn't come out as great. So the third batch didn't come out as great as the second batch. And Zayla's uh, first batch is these here. She didn't give them time Man, to cool show the front. Off. Show the front, please. It's a nice yeah, well, cookie one, right there. Yeah, well, one, one, one. But I'm showing them the, how it turned out. The last batch. And then... Progressively, it got better. Yeah, progressively, it got better. Because this is her second batch. And it looks much better. And I'm going to show you guys her third batch. Period. Cookie. Okay. Alright, so they came out much better. Alright, so you guys, that is it for our little bacon session. Um, we might do this again, depending on if you guys like this or not. So, you know, it was fun. I had fun. I'm glad that we did this. But thank you guys for watching. As always, I just want to say that you guys, please, please be safe out here. And um, I'll be back on soon. Mm -hmm.